Hey guys, welcome to PETA's Journey. Um, today we're going to do another food review. Not just a typical food review. We're going to actually do um, like a comparison, a food comparison uh, or substitute. Maybe that's the better way. So today we have a lot of different things. Um, some things I've tried before. Uh, in fact, I've tried everything at least once before, but it was made a little bit different this time. Okay, so we're going to be having chicken tenders by corn. Corn is my favorite. Um, you sure that's not backwards? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> corn is my favorite um, vegetarian meat. Um, I love them, uh, but I'm going to give an honest review always. I always will. Um, so let's see. Um, allergens contains eggs. Then we also are having cheddar, broccoli, rice, aroni, probably not the best thing. Um, but we're doing it tonight. Um, and allergens are soy and wheat. Um, I've talked to you guys about my, you know, potatoes. We're having potatoes and radishes. Um, and I've, I've told you that I like butter and cheese on my potatoes. Tonight there's no cheese on my potatoes. Um, but this is the butter that we use. Earth Balance. Um, it's not actually butter at all. It's different kinds of oils um and it is cat is this vegan just one second <laughs> yes and it's vegan allergens probably soy um it, it actually doesn't say that it has allergens So, um, he uses soybean oil, so thereby soy is an allergen. That's true. It just doesn't list any allergens. Yep. Um, but sometimes that happens with certain oils. Okay. So I'm going to do a little shout out to my friend Lyra and she is the one who introduced me to radishes. I, have no memory of ever eating a radish before yesterday. Um, and so uh, she's doing a, a keto diet, which is different than what I'm doing, but it's very interesting to learn about. And I hope to actually put up something on the channel about different diets. Um, and you can find her over on Instagram at Keto Spoonie Journey. So check her out. Because she really um, works hard at the keto diet and seems to know quite a bit about it. All right, so let's try some food. I'm hungry. Um, one of the things that I want to do is I actually want to try a potato versus a radish um, and see if maybe I could stop eating potatoes and substitute it with a radish. So, potato with the butter, of course, salt and pepper. <clears throat> and by the way, they were steamed potatoes and they're really good even without the cheese, which is shocking that I would say that. <laughs> okay, now to try a radish. Mm. I could definitely eat radishes and substitute uh, potatoes. What about you, Kat? These are kind of sweet. I think they're really good, though. Could you eat them as substitute for potatoes? Sure, a little small, though. They are small. We, we would have to eat a lot more of them. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. You're like teeny tiny. You can barely see it. Mm-hmm. But. Now you can't see it because I ate it. 
Mm. But it's good. <clears throat> of course, let's uh let's try the rice aroni. You know, I haven't had rice aroni since beginning this journey. Um so this is my first time actually having rice aroni. And rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> in like over four months and I'm not a big fan anymore at all it's not not as good as I remember it how it used to be <laughs> nothing against rice aroni it's my taste buds are changing. Okay, so the chicken, the chicken tenders. We're going to try this. So, chicken tender. Now, I, I did save this for last because um, I've actually tried chicken tenders before by corn, and I am not the biggest fan of them. As much as I love corn products, the chicken tenders are not my favorite. But when I was a meat eater, I wasn't that big of a chicken meat eater. I preferred steak. Steak is my favorite. Really bad for me. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. I feel like I just ate a piece of chicken. Cat, what do you think? About the chicken? Yeah. It's pink. <laughs> Pretty good. I like it. I, I feel like I ate a piece of chicken. You get a bit of a radish aftertaste. Okay, so it was cooked with the radishes. And um, to be fair... It's like a sponge. It soaked up the flavor. To be fair, we did use um, oh, this one seasoning. Uh, it has chicken flavoring and tomato flavoring. So it definitely um, changed the appearance of the chicken. The chicken's kind of pink. Um, <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, but I, I think it really did make it taste more like chicken. Um, and the way that cat cooked it was perfect. Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty good. Uh, I think cooking the corn chicken like this, um, I would eat it a lot more often. Um, so yeah. I, I did notice with corn products, um, the groundless meat and the chicken tenders, you really have to put flavoring on it, uh, a lot of extra. Like, instead of one package of taco seasoning, you would use two packages. Um, that's just an example, because that would be uh, probably too much sodium for cat. Not for me, unfortunately. But, um... <laughs> We'll get into that a different day. Anyways, my point is, is that you really have to put a lot of seasonings in um, for because it, it just soaks it up and you don't really taste it until you like double the seasoning. Um, but it is a good product and you really do feel like most of the time like you're eating what they say they're providing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to finish my dinner. You guys have a great night and... Stay safe. Bye-bye.